Lampard to blast it through, and a goal by Frank Lampard, leaving Bonetti completely unsighted. And Lampard hit. Frank Ryan West Ham fan team, thank you so much for inviting us down to the pub, the Nightingale. Thanks for coming down, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, mate. Um, Look, I just want to have a little chat with you about your time at West Ham and you know when you first signed for the club. Yeah. I mean, you signed for the club. You was only a youngster, 16 years old. And what was it? You was born in East Ham, weren't you? So it was just down the road from the bowling ground. Well, yeah, I was born in East Ham, but I lived. Uh, I, I lived in Kenning Town basically. Yeah. That's where I come from, Kenning Town. From. Yeah, so it's on, it's on the doorstep of West Ham, and everyone was West Ham fans. And as, a, as a young kid, a young boy, seven or eight years of age, all, all you knew was West Ham basically. Yeah. And uh, we used to walk, walk up to the ground on Saturdays and uh, on a regular basis. So it was, uh, you know. So it was always a dream of yours to play for West Ham. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the only club I ever wanted to play for. Yeah. Three years later, I mean, Ron Greenwood and your debut, Man City at home. Uh, November. He was in. I looked at the team that day, and he was Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst, Martin Peters. I mean, the year before that, they won the World Cup. How was yeah. how was it for you as a, a 19 year old kid? Yeah. Well, it's ironic, Brian, really, because I was a left back, and uh, this Man City game came up, and then someone got injured, and I played my first game. I played right back against Man City. And then and they were a good side then. It's a good, it's a good, some good players, Franny Lee and all them sort of players yeah. were there. And uh, so to play right back and to, and to play with people like Bobby, as you say, Bobby, Jeff, Jeff and Martin, it was, um, it was you know, terrific. Kenny Brown, go through it, you know. Ronnie uh, Boyce as well. Boyce, yeah. you know, Harry, Harry was coming through regularly. Yeah. And that, and, 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 and Bill, and Bill, Bill, Billy Bonds. Uh, and Trevor, all lot Trevor came through the system with me, Trevor Brooking, as a, as a youth, same age, and uh, so I knew Trevor was, was knocking on the door as well to come into the side. So it was a good thing that West Ham had a lot of local lads playing. Yeah. It's all changed now because of the way things are, yeah. and, which is you know, changed for the best in some ways, and not not so good in other ways. But yeah, no, I mean it's some great players. I mean I've got I've got a stat here. I mean. You featured in 40 or more games in six consecutive seasons between 1970 and 76. I mean, players can't do that these days, can they? No. I mean, when you used to pick up injuries back in them days, I mean, yeah. you haven't got the sports science and the doctors that we have now. So, no. you think you broke your leg when you first broke yeah, into uh, Yeah, what it was, I got in the, I got in the side uh, and I played 13 games. And at Sheffield United, I broke my leg. And uh, the bad break. Yeah. And uh, it was like a bit difficult where I would come through it. You know, I was out for a year. I didn't play for a year, and uh, well, I didn't play for one season. At the, at the last game of the, of the season, I was, I was injured. Ron Green would give me a game at right at the end of the season, and I'd done all right. So uh, then after that, next season, I, I got back in the side again. So yeah. I got myself fit. But uh, it was it, the worrying. I was, was only young, and that and I was doing well. And then all of a sudden, that happened, and. Uh, I came through it in the end. I mean, you are you're a two-time FA Cup winner of West Ham. I mean, your first final, 1975, against Fulham, London derby. I mean, how was it for you, you know, going into that game? Because it was a bit, it was weird because Bobby Moore was captain for Fulham. So, yeah. how was it on the day? I mean, I've heard Billy Bonds talk about this before, but what, what was your thoughts well, on that day? See, well, Bobby, I got on very well with Bobby. And uh, when we used to go to away games, we used to sit in hotels and stay away overnight on the Friday. Bobby was always my roommate. So I knew him very, very well, and it was it's ironic that we ended up playing against him. Yeah. He, he was at the end of his career, virtually, and uh, you know, it, 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 and, and I say to play against Fulham. So it's a lo- obviously it's a local derby yeah. in the end, you know, and uh, and I think I think I think they were in the second I think they were in the second division, yeah. if I remember right, and we were in the in the, in the top in the top league. Uh, and it was a tight game. We won in the end, obviously, which was a, 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 a Alan great, Taylor, wasn't it? great yeah, great thing for the club. But to play against Bobby, you know, and he was um, out on the pitch on that day. I still remember it now. 
he was the one for them who was the one you worried about because he knew yeah. what he was doing yeah. and he was the brain even at that age he was, he still, was the brain of yeah. that team and uh, long as we, long as we made sure he didn't do too much damage we were right yeah no but we went on to win I mean the FA Cup you still got your FA Cup now? I mean, yeah, what, what did that mean to you like being a West Ham fan representing us in the Cup final and winning it I mean, well, unbelievable. Well, yeah, I'd say it was, you know, lucky enough, I, I got two in, in the end, but that, the first one was, 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 a, was a terrific time for us all yeah. uh, as a club. And I'd say being a local lad, everything was like brilliant. All the boys, the local lads, my schoolmates, everything, so they were all there. It was a fantastic, fantastic, it was a good game as well. It was a tight game, it wasn't yeah. easy, it wasn't no. easy game, it was a hard game. I mean, and then the year after, 1976, um, European Cup final, you know, yeah. we lost out. Yeah. I mean, what was that? What was that like as well? Getting to European Cup well, final. Terrific. If you, you were terrific. I mean, that, that, on that game in the in the final, that's when I done my I, I done my groin. I came off. I don't know if you if you know if you remember this, but no. in that game, yeah, I um, I uh, I was was playing, and also the last I don't know just for half time, I got a bad groin, and uh, I had to come off in the end because it, it, I'd done damage, uh, but. To, to get in Europe, with, 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 yeah. for us, I mean, can you think of it now? I mean, you know, at the moment, we've got a dream of a European now, Cup final no, now. No, but, you know, let's be fair about it. He, he, now the new manager's come in. Yeah. You know, I don't want to digress about it, but, and he's a good manager. Yeah. You know, I know, I know him from Man City days when Frank was there. I met him quite a few times, and he's, you know, he knows what he's talking about, he knows what he's doing. He's a good tactician. So yeah, the fans, the fans are really taken to him yeah, this season. I think he's got something about him, and, Scott, and I think he bring. I think he's got a, quite a good reputation of players uh, from abroad that he bring in uh, who, who will do well. So I think you know it'd be, it'd be lovely again to, uh, to get in Europe again. Uh, you know, yeah. we're, we're knocking on the door a little bit. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, you, you played in the 1975 FA Cup final. Five years later, back at Wembley, another London derby. This time yeah. against Arsenal. We was, uh, you know. Yeah, first division at the time. Yeah, it was um, another win, another win. I Ch think, I think that, that game. I think if I was right, we, I think we were in the in the in the, sec in the yeah, second. Yeah, we was league. last thing to win it outside the top flight, weren't we? Yeah, so the old second division. I mean, yeah. you know, if you ask me, in my career, that, that was probably the game that I remember the most because they were a good side, Arsenal. Yeah, some terrific players, Liam Brady was one, was one of them. You know, you can go on there with lots of them. And we were the underdogs, you know, a bit like Fulham when we played yeah. Fulham five years before. And, uh, and we were well organised though, you know, we, John Lowell got us well organised and uh, so we went one up, I think Trevor scored. Trevor, yeah. And then, then we thought we defended for about three quarters of the game. <laughs> but we had a bit of experience, Donzo, uh, Trevor playing in midfield and me. And we got organised, organised the lads and we kept in the game. And you, well, yeah, the thing is, going back result. before that, the semi-final at Ellen Road, the replay, yeah. about your header, mate, we wouldn't have got yeah. there. I've just, I mean, just shaking your mind about what game I've got the best now. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I mean, what's the highlights of that, of that semi-final? I mean, when you scored, you sort of run and you've done that famous celebration around the, the corner flag. I mean, It's ironic, we're talking now. I was there like four, four nights ago. Yeah. When Derby were playing, did you still have a little look down? No, that look, play? yeah, yeah. I couldn't quite remember what end it was. So I remember rightly there. that Frank Lampard Jr. done the same celebration. He did, didn't yeah, he, he did, did afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's ironic we're talking now, and it, we were there. I was there, and I looked at that bloody old, you know, you know yeah, the yeah, great, 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 great time. Because that would have gone to another replay, wouldn't it? Because back I, in them days, I don't remember it was... how it would have happened, but yeah, yeah, probably could have been. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, so yeah, and then you, you go, you mean Billy Ball Bonds. came over and Frank fell over. Yeah, remember that, didn't you? <laughs> I won't sing the rest of it. <laughs> but no, I mean, 1980 FA Cup final, beating Arsenal. As you said, back then, Arsenal were a big team. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just on that day, I mean, I don't want to make you feel old, Frank, honestly, mate, but I weren't born then. No, I remember well, seeing I all the photos. <laughs> I remember seeing all the photos of, like, my uncles and that, celebrating down Barking Road, you know, the open top bus. And, ah, it's, 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 it's like, terrific, you know? it's terrific yeah, for everybody. You know, it'd be so nice again to have them, you know. I think it's a shame, that, especially with the FA Cup, if they took a back seat a little bit. I think it's coming forward again now. Yeah. Uh, and I think, it's, you know, it's the sort of thing you could, we, we could get our, our head round, you know, as a club. As, as I mean, a team. for me, I mean, we were so close in 2006, but I haven't seen us win the FA Cup. And for me as a fan, it's the one thing I want to win. Obviously, yeah. you want to win the league, but we're West Ham. Yeah. We've got. Yeah. Why, why, why can't we go for the FA and Cup? And it don't go away, does it? No. 
That's it's, what in, I mean. it's in the books, it's in the history yeah. books, and it stays. We're talking and about it now. You know? Their memories stay with you forever. You know, they? you go on and years go by, but it still comes back to that. So they can't take that away from you. No, that's it. I mean, you had a great career. I think you was in the first team for 18 years at West Ham. 85, you left. Yep. You moved to South End, where Bobby Moore was the manager. How was yeah. that? Down from yeah, it was funny. Bobby was managed, took over there, and he and, and I was coming to the end of my my time. And he said, he, he rang me and said, "Do you want to come and and, and play and be a sort of assistant?" I was assistant to Bobby, yes. and I was playing at the same at the same time. Well, you left the club on a free transfer. What, did you want to leave, or was it just? Uh... Yeah, I think I had the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me, I like I, I like co- I enjoyed coaching. I like coaching. And so that was that you know it sort of be sort of be down to the ground really. We was yeah. only there a season, one season, um, and before Bobby left. But uh, no, I enjoyed it. It was great. It's the South End, still local. A lot of local people there. If they used to go and watch West Ham or, or South End, some yeah. of them, you know, they still travel down from South End now to the West Ham game. So it, it was, it was terrific. Well, I know you said you love coaching. I mean, a few years later, you and Harry joined the club. Harry was manager, you was assistant. Um, and we had we had some up and down years in the Premier League, but one season for me was the um, '99 season when we got in, uh, f- finished fifth in the Premier League, still yeah. our highest ever finish yeah. in the Premier League. I mean, we had some characters in that dressing room. That was the time when I used to go down and chat with that the Moncur time, Moncur, yeah. Dixie, Canio, Dixie, Neil Ruddock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how you kept Neil Ruddock yeah. and John? I'd fair no. play to you because. No. I mean, we, we got, just kept feeding them, they were right. <laughs> I mean, that was the time I used to go down the training ground. And one thing I've always said, I, I was at a charity event just before Christmas, and I, so I see Harry Redknapp there, and I always yeah. remind him of them times, because you made us feel so welcome. You know, fans oh, we used to come out, down. We? I used to let us come in, yeah. players used to be eating breakfast. You go, go and get yourself saying to yeah. boys. You yeah. made us feel so yeah. welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we made a point of that, because yeah. I think that we, we were all local boys, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, we, and we was like, money, well, not running the club, but we were sort of in, in charge of the football. Of the club. You used to let us in, but I can't remember his name. I think it was Dave, the security guard on the front yeah, line. Door. Used to Dave's the door. Oh. Before, yeah. He used to go, no training the day left. Yeah, he used yeah. to try and send us home. But yeah. no, it was great. We had, as I said, have you got any funny stories you can tell about any of the players? John Moncur in particular. Well, John Moncur was a practical, practical joke. I mean, you can never, you, know, you can never stop him. Every, you know, every, every day there's something going on. You know, Dixie was a was a character. A bit, you know, a bit of a, he could lose his head sometimes and that. I remember once we was in training and, and something happened in training. We were doing some some skill, some work. And Dixie got the ump, um, picked the ball up and kicked it into the railway line <laughs> over the top. Harry said, go and get it. <laughs> we had, Ian, the train Wright. Going we had by. Ian Wright there, of course, as well. Yeah, and another character. What about Di Canio? What a talent he was. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was class, a class player, you know. He, was, uh, he, had, uh, he had his moody days. Yeah, I, I remember when uh, one morning when they used to come in, we'd, we'd be there, me and Harry would be there, we're sitting around a little table like this. The players would come in and we'd say, Good morning, morning lads, right? And Carlo coming, the camera coming one morning, and, and uh, Harry went, Carlo, how do you feel today? Because with him, Carlo, he go, Oh, no good feel rubbish. Or oh, another day, he go, Look. He went, I feel good today. So Harry went, Harry said, Whoa. We're all happy today, then. Lads, we're okay today. <laughs> Carry on. Well, Decanio's happy, everyone's yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean. At that time as well, we had some, the youth academy at that time was bringing the academy of football. Yeah. You know, we had Rio coming through, yeah. Joe Cole, Michael Carrick, yeah. Defoe, and of course, Frank, young yeah. Frank. Yeah. And um, unbelievable to see them. I mean, they all, look, whether it was with West Ham or not, they all went to the very top. And you could see from a young age, especially Frank and Rio, yeah. Yeah, they they was yeah. levels above yeah. anyone else. Yeah, oh Joe, 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 Joe was, well, Joe was yeah. a little bit younger. Joe, yeah. <clears throat> but that, no, there was a great group of lads there. I think there's even two or three more that we we, we talked about who were in that group. Uh, but they were, you know, they were terrific lads, and they came to say they came through the system. We worked very hard to get Rio, <coughs> Rio lived over the other side of the water. Yeah, and we had, and I remember going over one day. Harry said to me one day one morning, he said we have got a lad who's a good player. Blah blah blah. Would you go and see his parents? And I went over through Blackwall Tunnel up to Rio's mum and dad's house and, and met his mum and dad. Harry he, he said he's always a good player. Yeah. And we and had a chat and I convinced his dad. To, I think I think it was someone like someone like might be Millwall. I ain't saying he's silly now saying that, but Millwall were we're after him. What, he's on yeah. his doorstep. I can imagine a lot of people yeah. after him at that. <coughs> and, um, and then we persuaded him and we, and we got him. And, and the, the rest is history now. You know, he's probably one of the greatest players West Ham has ever had. Yeah. I mean, you were there for only 2001, you and Harry both left the club. 
uh, was it mutual consent, were you both left or was he sacked? I think he sacked him, didn't he? Yeah. I think so. Oh, I, do you know I, what? Know I, sacked, I, I thought they sacked him, but when I was reading up about it, yeah. it said mutual consent, there was a bar. Well, it, it, it might have been a, a diplomatic. Yeah, I mean, what, yeah. Was, what was your thoughts and feelings on that? Because I thought at, the, at that time, I know we, had, I think we finished about 14th in the Premier League that season, but the yeah. squad we had and we was building, I know that we sold Rio, and but we had a good yeah. bunch yeah, of yeah. youngsters there yeah. to really build. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't know really, I just think about it now, I suppose really, I mean the day as a manager, the day you sign the contract, the day you start to get the sack, and that's yeah. how it works, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, so I think, you know, I think the time might have been up, we had, we had a good, well, how many years we were there, we had seven or eight years, nine yeah. years, so we had a, we had a good seven run years, there, yeah. you know. I mean one thing um, as well, is uh, young Frank, obviously, <coughs> at West Ham at the time, he didn't seem to have that sort of relationship with, with the West Ham fans, and I'm going to be honest with you, me growing up, I was a youngster at the time. Yeah. I couldn't understand why he was getting booed by some of our fans. I know people say it's because people thought he was putting a team because of obviously yeah. himself and Patron, Harry. Patronism, yeah. But when you look at it, I mean, he was a <clears> decent <throat> player. And I, I remember his debut, I was on the way down here, I still remember his debut clearly. He played Coventry City at home. I remember him and Gordon Strachan both come on at the same time. Harry That's had right. his arm around him. Right, yeah. And I still remember yeah. it. I mean, I I'm sure it was that game. He got the ball, 20 yards out, smashed it, hit the crossbar, and I thought, yeah. we've got a player in our hands. Yeah. Now. Yeah. But I just couldn't understand. I mean, what's, yeah. what's your. I think, I think it was a shame, really, because I mean, he's a local, local lad, whichever you want to say. His father's there as assistant manager. That's, you know, and I think there's nothing he can do, nothing about that. And uh, I think the fact that he was there and coming through and uh, I think that in the people's minds they thought I was in the side because he could be dead basically and, and his uncle his uncle yeah. but if you knew if you had actually worked with Frank and knew how he was he made himself a, into a footballer well, I think that like you would get a lot of young kids if they had that little bit more about them yeah. they could come through but he had this little thing where he, he had to work at his game and I mean, he worked I've, and worked I've interviewed a few of uh, Frank's ex teammates, and they yeah. always said that he was one of the hardest workers in training. Would stay behind and hit 50 balls at the, yeah. at the goal. And, I mean, so obviously, yeah. some people don't see yeah. that. And yeah. obviously, Frank left the yeah. club. I think Frank signed a five year deal with us, didn't he? Um, yeah. Yeah. And then he left, he went to Chelsea. Yeah. Um, from a fan's point of view, I can understand obviously, young Frank playing for Chelsea. He was obviously upset because he, he grew up as a West Ham fan. Yeah. As a West Ham yeah. fan, it must have hurt him. It must have hurt you as well yeah. to see, yeah. you know, he's getting booed yeah. by his own. And, but he went and played for Chelsea and then he well, come yeah. back. He, well, yeah, the story about that is he was going, I think me and Harry left. That's when it happened. Yeah. That's when it happened, really, yeah. you know. And going back to the support was just quick. Uh, and I understand it in some ways because like, they, they, you know, they don't know the real story about everything, how it go, what goes on and, and how, what he's like as a, as a person. And I think, you know, in some ways, you know, it ain't, it wasn't, it ain't the end of the world. I mean, it, talk to him now, now he's, he's, he's grown up more and he's, he's, he's older. He laughed, he laughed about it because yeah. it was something that hurt him at the time. But yeah. when you think about it now, it's, it is just part of sometimes of, of, of growing up and going through life. And it can it. make you tougher, it makes you harder. Yeah, yeah. It makes you more ruthless about things and to want to do it. You know, I watch him now when he's, he's, he's doing his manager job now on the touchline and, you know, and he's got that look about him. I know that he, you know, he can turn if you have to turn, or he can be nice if you have to be nice. And that's what life is about. Yeah. People with different situations. It, it's one of them things. I mean, when he come back, play for Chelsea, scored at bowling, he's kissing the badge. You can understand that upset yeah. some of them. But then yeah. you can understand from his point of view as well. Six and one half a dozen the other. Yeah. Really. So, yeah. but as you said, it's football. And yeah. The lucky yeah. thing was they was going to go to Leeds, and 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 Rio went to Leeds. Yeah. And, and they would take him. They wanted to take him in Rio. And it was all. I'm sitting up in my garden in, 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 in Gidea Park, and the, and the phone went. I can't think who rang. Who rang and said, uh, Ranieri, who, who, who was uh, coming into, uh, wants to take him to Chelsea. And he went, Dad, what do I do? I'm gonna, I, I like Leeds. I, I, Chelsea's local. I ain't got to move. Yeah. Yeah, we had to move, but only up to up to there, you know. And that, and that was really... Chelsea at the time as well were building, weren't they? They're lucky, yeah. It, yeah. it, it was a terrific. And sometimes you've got to be in the right place at the right time, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that was, that, it, we were there. I mean, as a, as a father, I mean, how, how proud are you of Frank's achievements in football, what he went on to win? I mean, I wish it would have been with West Ham, personally, yeah. but yeah. 
Now, yeah. and as well, he's gone on to manage Derby. Did you ever know he was going to? Did you ever think he was going to go on to be a manager? Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Is it always did. something that he's yeah, always yeah, wanted yeah, to do? Yeah, I did. I think he, um, you know, I mean, he, uh, he had a terrific, he had a terrific career at Chelsea, and and then when he finished, he got he went into doing the television stuff, which which he done well, and uh, you know. He could have stayed there quite easily and just you kind of have a bad game in the studio. Yeah. You know, yeah, you kind true, of have yeah. a bad game. So, <laughs> uh, and he could have stayed there, but when this came up, he said, you know, he said I want to do it. You know, and probably financially, he could have made, he could have done better staying where he was. And, but, the, co and the contacts he's got from the game, the play, the managers yeah. that he's played for, yeah. yourself, yeah. Harry. I mean, well, I think it's like a thing that's in you. It's like it's like if you're a good supporter of a team. It's in your blood, isn't it? Yeah. And if this business is like, which is football, which when we, as a kid, I was a kid, you're coming through uh, as a lad playing for your school team or Sunday morning, wherever it is, that is your part of your life. My biggest thing in Kenning Town was going out in the street playing football. Yeah. And that's what and that's what we did, you know. And so, and that was like, a, a, a sort of got you out, got you sort of, the major weekends work because that's you know, the games and that, so. I think football is in his blood, and then now he wants to go and do the other side, which is precarious. No yeah. doubt about it, precarious business. But I think, you know, I think, I think he'd be all right because he's got a, he's got a good attitude. He's, he's been sort of fairly well educated. He can handle he can handle people, and I think you know, it's an old game. So yeah, fingers crossed. But Frank, just a quick couple of uh, yeah. quick fire questions here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> probably know most of the answers, yeah. but the best player you ever played with, Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore, yeah. yeah. I knew you was going to say Bye that. Mal, yeah. I know you going to say that. Yeah. Uh, what's your favourite goal? And I don't include the semi final because I tell you what, I watched a video of yours earlier. Yeah, that was, was a good volley. Eh? Twenty-two goals. I tell you yeah. what, you can see where young Frank gets it from. Yeah. Do you think if you'd have played in midfield, you'd have scored probably hundred more goals for us there? Yeah, I, I think my game was attacking fullback because they didn't attack much in fullback. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not one of the first. Well, early on, they used to stay back, and then they started attacking. Like they attack more than ever now. But, but I'm trying to think. I remember scoring you know, uh, um, goals. I don't know which one it was, but my, my, my best goal was volleys. I was yeah. at the edge of the box, might be a corner. I see some of them, sort of top corners. And yeah, yeah, the volume was. The volume was. I think he was a fullback, honestly. Yeah. You know. But um, and your most most memorable game or moment in a West Ham shirt? Well, well, I, you know, I mean, Ellen Road was, was great, but I think really beating Arsenal in the local derby, yeah. and it's a big occasion, and they were a bit, they were a you know, much stronger side than us on paper. I mean, last season there was um, a vote on the West Ham website of the top 50 greatest hammers of all time. You made it into the top 10, number yeah, nine. Yeah. Um, I'm I mean, happy, I'll, I'm I'll, happy with that. I'll read out so Phil Parks at number 10, yourself at number nine, Alvin Martin, number eight, Vic Watson, number seven, Martin Peters, Devonshire, Jeff Burst, Trevor Rockin, Billy Bonds, and Bobby Moore. Yeah. I mean, apart from Vic Watson, you played with yeah, yeah. every single one of them. I mean, what Billy Bonds? I mean, you could probably, right probably get a team out of that, couldn't we? You could, I tell you what, mate. I take, I, <laughs> I think I take you now, mate. <laughs> get a team out of it. But um, yeah, I'm, I mean, what? Let's talk about Billy Bonds. What was he like? Was I mean, Bill came from Charlton, didn't he? Yeah. He came from over the other side of, of the river. Bill was Bill was a great trainer, good, at, great athlete. Kept himself to himself. Always wanted to go back over through Blackwall Tunnel. But, um, you know, he kept himself to himself. But what a great pro. You know, you won't get anyone better than that. And God knows how he didn't get any, any England cap. Yeah. I mean, you got two caps yourself. Yeah, I was surprised yeah. you only got two. Yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah, but, unbelievable, yeah. yeah but Bill, I mean, it, that, that is how he didn't get. Yeah. How he didn't get. Didn't he, I think, didn't he get called up to a squad and didn't play? I think he made. He got called up, didn't he? And he never played. And it was just yeah. such he, a shame because no, he could have... If he was know, picking a team of England, uh, players who haven't got England caps, I tell you, so you're going into a scrap. He'd be captain. You're going into a scrap. You, you want Billy Bonds by you, yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. A couple of other players. I mean, Trevor Brooklyn as well. I mean, what? what Trevor was, was different. Was different. Was a different type. Very uh, sort of quiet lad, and uh, you know, he, he used to let he used to let the ball. Every time you played the ball to him, he more or less let the ball run. He yeah. come to it, let it run, and, and that was he was he was class. He, he was like a he was like a bit like a sort of. A, a foreign player, basically, he could Spanish or Italian and then play. He was, he was different, Trevor. Yeah. He was very, you know, he was, he was, quite, of his time he was quite a big the... built lad, Trevor. Yeah. But he had this sort of movement and this, this grace that you, you know you, you can't coach it. He was just there. 
bit like Devonshire as well. Yeah, just saying, I did play in front of me for a long while, Dev. Yeah. You know, I used to work back up and down, Dev. He was a terrific player, great player, yeah. great player. But no, just just before we go, <coughs> Frank, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Let's just talk right. a little bit about the current West Ham team. We spoke about Pellegrini earlier. Yeah. We're, we're in the London Stadium now. Um, have you been to London Stadium yeah, since we've yeah, been down? Yeah. What do you make of it? Do you, I, I don't do you think mind it's the right it. move? Yeah, I think it's okay. I think people have got, got, got to get used to it. I think it's... Uh, you know, it, it's all about winning games, isn't it? I yeah. mean, now we're going, we're going well at the moment. You know, we're going well, I think. If you're winning games, it people, makes people's minds so much easier. Yeah. You know, and, they, and if you're losing, they think, oh, it's hard to get to. It's a bit of a drag, you've got to walk up there, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. But it's about winning games. And I think now we're going the right way. I think, you know, I'm looking at the team. Nine, nine of our Pellegrini years as a manager. I think we've got a great chance of, you know, really you know, stay in there with our, try and stay in the top ten. You never know at the death, you might be able to sneak it, sneak, sneak in the top four or five, you know, you never yeah, know. Yeah, I think a lot of fans, at the beginning of the season, we lost our first four games, I think the fans were a bit thinking, oh, here we go again, but it seems to have got the team together and squad. We've got the situation at the moment with Mark on out of it. So, I mean, what's, what's your take on that? It's a shame, he seems like a bit of a loose loose cannon to me, the lad, and I think he might be one of those that will move about a bit. Yeah. You know, I think, well, if he wants to go, you know, I mean, the, the best thing that happened for him was, I think it was David Moyes who, who, who put him through the middle. Moving up front, yeah. And on the side, I think he was he had to sort of work back to him. And he, was, he was not the type of guy you would want to work back to too much, I don't think. And then, now he's been playing through the centre. I mean, you know, any, anywhere in the 18-yard box, if he gets the ball on a turn, and he, he's, a, he's a danger. So I think he's a goal scorer. I think he's a, tri- I think he's a good player, very good player. But if they're not right in their mind to be somewhere and some players are like that they want to move about all yeah. the time I'd say let them go get the money for him but long as the money is invested Bring in someone in that wants another to striker yeah. and I think Pellegrini would, with his experience I think he might know the right place to go to yeah. the right shop to go to yeah. get someone uh, definitely I think a lot of our fans trust him yeah. trust him and uh, hopefully you know this season we could, we're still in the FA Cup, so you yeah, never know. No, I think you know, just keep going. You know, I, I, just, I just, as I say, I just think that of the last few games I've watched on the television, and I think we, we look like we're organised, strong. We've got people who can do things up front, in front of the goal. I think, you, I think he's looking good. Yeah, Frank. One more question before I go. Yeah, Harry Redknapp. I'm a celebrity. Did you watch it? Yeah. Did you vote for him? Did you vote for him for the job? No, he yeah. was unbelievable. No, I mean, that, I, mean, the I, mean, that, that, I think that sort of puts Harry in sort of in perspective, really. I mean, he's doing road shows now. He's got a lot, lot of shows coming up yeah. all over the country. He's going, and you know, but that's what he's like. His character. Yeah, he's got so you many know. good stories. I mean, we was at an yeah. event just before Christmas with him, and yeah. it was he just had everyone laughing. You know, he's yeah. that sort of character. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's a breath of fresh air yeah. to the game. You know what I mean? He's not, you know, he, he's not sort of. Um, as a manager, he, he was like great man manager, great man management with yeah. people, and that's yeah. what he was. You know, was he one of the sort of managers put your arm around you, made you feel loved? Yeah, you know, and he know, he, and, and the funny and the thing was, you know, Harry was. It could be a practical joker, but one thing is, Harry knows the game. Yeah, he understands the game. Do you think he'd ever go back into managing, or is that it for him now? I don't know. I like to think he would. Yeah, in some capacity. I like to think he would, you know. He'd always give him, he'd always, he, he, he speaks to Frank on the phone about things, about this, where, where Frank is now, before Frank went there, because Harry was at Derby. Yeah. He had a little little time there, about nine months or something. Yeah, but, was he like director of football or something? Or, yeah, 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 he was involved there. And uh, so he speaks to Frank on, 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 the, uh, on occasions, and I'll speak, to, so, you know, he, you know, someone like Harry, he's got a good experience, so you've got to take a lot from him. But Frank, look, thank you so much for your no, time, mate. I mean, no 670 appearances for West Ham, 22 goals, two FA Cup and winners Se- medals. And missed a season of broken legs. <laughs> <laughs> but, mate, you are a true West Ham legend. Thank you so Beautiful. much, mate. Take Lovely. Care. Good luck, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Cheers, mate. Lovely. Cheers, mate.